It's Silly and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. This week we interview the guys from Wrestling and Hinkley, Jason Maverick, The Punk King, Tony Russell, Superhero Kieran Young, Jesse Jones, Charles Kelsey, and General Manager Mark Russell, as well as give our fast lane predictions and talk about some more gaming news. Hello and welcome to episode number five of the Sunny and Finn Show with me, Sunny, and with me as always, Finn Steele. How are you, Finn? Hello, I'm very good, thank you. Excellent. This is our first milestone as a podcast, episode number five. Boop, boop. You can go and check the other ones out on SoundCloud, on iTunes, on Stitcher, and on YouTube. Indeed. We've got a few different things to talk about today. Uh, we've got our interview with the guys from Wrestling and Hinkley to come a little bit later on as well as our predictions for WWE Fastlane. Obviously, by the time you hear this, Fastlane would have passed, Mm -hmm. but um, we will get to hear our predictions on whether we were right or wrong. I'll put a little sound. If we're right, we'll put a ding. If we're wrong, we'll put a Yeah. Or something like that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, First off, we've got a bit of gaming news. Uh, Nothing too major, but uh, just a few little, little tidbits. So, according to a Brazilian ratings board, Mm-hmm. The Bioshock trilogy is getting a remaster. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I know that both of us have finished all three of these games before. Yeah. Are you gonna? Would you play them again? Uh, yeah, certainly. I'd still like to play the first one again. Nothing else. Uh, really like the first one. Uh, the story and all that, and the atmosphere. Um, the second one was good, not quite as good, uh, but I still enjoyed it. Playing, playing it to Big Daddy, so it's uh, different. And uh, yeah, third one was good as well. So. Yeah, I'll play, play, them, play them again if we get time. Uh, I love three. I, I, I like all of them, but um, I don't know, there's something about three that I just loved. I think it was the setting, maybe. Mm. Um, that good setting. Uh, spoiler alert, um, like the end bit where you go back to Rapture. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I'd love to experience it again. Uh, I think it'll look glorious as a remaster as well. Mm. The DLC was good as well. In the third one. Oh, I didn't play the DLC actually. It's so good. The, I imagine it'll come bundled with it. I'd imagine so. That's how these remasters were. They come chuck everything in there. Yeah, pretty much. But um, I'm I, de- I, I'm, I'll definitely play I think it would probably be £40 maximum. Probably. I heard the uh, DLC in the second one was good as well. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, Minerva's Den, I think it's called. It's a single player. Single player? Uh, yeah, single player DLC. DLC. Right? Okay. Uh, I think it's always really good. It's only short, but it's good for DLC. Cool. So, check that out. So that'll be good. So, um, I mean, this hasn't been confirmed yet, but uh, these things don't get rated for no reason. Yeah. So I imagine this is definitely going to happen. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Because uh, I don't think we're going to see another one. Probably not. I've heard that we're going to make a new system stock. Uh, system shop, let's say. Okay. Which is uh, what Biosock is based on. Uh, roughly. Kind of like a spiritual successor. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be what they're working on next. Cool. Hopefully. Well, look out for the Bioshock collection. Um, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. If it does come out, we'll do a Let's Play. Yes. Um, NAC 2 was um, found on somebody's CV <laughs> who makes nice. video, who helps <laughs> make video games. Um, I think it, I mean, I, I think there's no doubt that this is going to happen. It would make sense. Um, I don't think the first one did all that well. It wasn't received all that well. It wasn't um, received well, but it sold enough to warrant a, a sequel, I think. Yeah, it, it's very it's promised, so like, maybe it, if it was improved upon in the sequel, uh, I think it's certainly be something to uh, keep an eye on. Um, People yeah. are so quick to jump on that. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I know that it's a launch title, and anything that comes out with the console at launch just sells a ton, but... I I played through it and I did enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, it was simple. It was the same all the way through. Um, you know, apart from knack changing materials or whatever, um, it was. It may have been overly long. I mean, the story really was dragged out. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> but I enjoyed it, and I'll definitely. Oh, I will play a sequel. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I don't think it'll be as successful as the first one, maybe, in terms of sales, because obviously it isn't a launch title, but yeah. um, I think it'll do fine. Yeah, I, I hope it does well. Um hope they improve it. I know uh, Michael Huber, from, formerly from Game Trailers, really liked Mac 1. Well, I, like, I like him, too. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's, a, it's a fun game. It's fine. Yeah, it, it looks jolly. It was jolly. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, if you haven't played Knack, it's, you can probably get it so cheap now. Probably. I mean, people have been going on that it'll probably be the first 
don't want to use the term, but triple A title to be released for PS Plus. Oh, yeah. I mean, people have been harping on about that for at least a year now. <laughs> yeah, and if NAC true. 2 is real, I imagine it will probably happen. That would make sense, yeah. Give people a taste. Yeah, so if you... Yeah, I'll be, I'll whether you go out and buy it, or whether you wait for the inevitable, almost inevitable, <laughs> PlayStation Plus release, uh, do, because it's good fun. I'll play it again. Yeah. Sure. That'll be good. Um, a, a bit of good gaming news. Okay. Um, Assassin's Creed is being given a year off. Yes. The Ubisoft uh, aren't going to put out a full Assassin's Creed release in 2016. That's good. Um, you can deal with a year off. Um, I, maybe longer. Maybe longer, <laughs> yeah. Um, I know uh, not the last one, but the one before it. it was the name of, uh, Unity. Unity, that's the um, one. That was a bit poor. I think that's what signalled the end as well. But, yeah. I mean, not the end, obviously that it will come back without question it will come back, but um, it was received so poorly. Yeah. And there was it was so buggy when it came out. Uh, I think Syndicate was probably, which is the current one, mm. was probably already in development at this point, so there was sort of like, right, okay, we'll, we'll just do this one. Yeah. I think it does look pretty good today, but I'm glad you got it, I got it for Christmas. Uh, I haven't got around to playing it yet, but... It's really good. Yeah, it does look really fun. Gorgeous London setting, mm. great voice acting. I'm glad they took out the multiplayer as well. Um, I did like the multiplayer from like 2 and all that, Two. but um, the one from Unity, um, <clears throat> co-op stuff didn't, didn't really suit the Assassin's Creed franchise, I thought. It seemed, seemed a bit tacked on, a bit forced. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad they removed that. I made a single player focus because I love single player games. Sure, yeah, me too. But I mean, there's not enough good single player games though. There's not. <laughs> the focus <laughs> Every, on multiplayer is, is massive. Yeah, everything, everyone's like the show hall in like co op or multiplayer mode. <laughs> <in all> place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I actually liked Unity. I mean, when they patched it and it wasn't buggy and stuff anymore, yeah. it was good. I mean, um, it didn't get terrible reviews, it just wasn't uh, received by fans all that well, I don't think. I mean, there were some really cool bits. Like, I remember one bit where. Uh, you're sort of running up the Eiffel Tower, oh, and yeah. um, this is sort of during one of the time sequences, or the end of one of the time sequences, and there, there was a few of them sort of moments throughout the game, which I thought were really, really good. Cool. Um, so it's not appalling, but I think the problems it had at launch were enough mm. for Ubisoft to think, okay, <laughs> people have not received this game well, yeah. and because of that, it's not going to sell as much. I think that's been the case with Syndicate. I don't think it's done that well. Probably not. Not as well. I mean, the hardcore Assassin's Creed fans have bought it. Of course they have. Yeah. Uh, I bought it. I like the franchise just fine. Um, but it's the right thing to do. You don't need to get a yearly release out of this. No, definitely not. Um, Call of Duty is uh, another one that gets yearly releases. It's just, again, you know, the fans are getting uh, uh, vocally... Uh, Tired with, <coughs> excuse me, because it's just the same thing every year. Yes, it's like there's, there's very few improvements, and uh, yeah, people just, people just gonna get tired of it. In the Call of Duty for me, right? And <laughs> I mentioned this last time. I think uh, on the last show where uh, I was playing Black Ops Three, I just got so angry with it <laughs> that it, it just I just deleted it from my PlayStation Four hard drive. Yeah, it's got to a point with Call of Duty now where it. It just isn't different anymore. No. Like, when Modern Warfare came out, it basically reinvented that genre. Definitely. Right, and how to do a story driven first person shooter, and also how to do multiplayer well. Yeah, that definitely. And it, it hasn't really changed. They've added futuristic stuff. Yeah, you can walk one now and got robot parts. Yeah. Call of Duty Robot Warfare. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. I'm sure it's going to come at some point. That's, <laughs> it's just going to be called that. Pretty much. Um, I don't know. I mean, the last couple of ones, the main protagonist has had a limb cut off and been replaced with some sort of robot part. It's time to give it a break. Definitely. Reinvent. People will appreciate it far more Yeah. when there isn't one for a year. Absolutely. Or more. It's right to do something different, like innovate. Do whatever it was that made for so good. No. I mean, uh... I mean, obviously, four came straight. I mean, three was World War Two as well, wasn't it? Yeah. So obviously, you jumped straight out of that setting into, and it was so different because you'd never seen it before. Like exactly. The, the, you know, modern warfare hadn't been done. No. Now it's been done to death. 
and now they're going into futuristic warfare. <laughs> yeah. Past, um, present, future. You know, I'd be very happy for it to go back to World War Two. Yeah, something like that. Um, like maybe even earlier than that, World War One. Maybe something like that. I mean, World of War wasn't a bad game. Yeah. The yeah. maps and the multiplayer sucked. <laughs> Do a World of War Two. I mean, you sure. know, I mean, make better maps for the multiplayer. Yeah. I think fans, hardcore fans of the series, would love that as well. Totally. You don't need all that wall running and stuff. Save, <laughs> save it for Titanfall. Yeah, Let exactly. Titanfall deal with the futuristic stuff. Yeah. You know, just either give it a rest or try something new. Different, <laughs> different. Try something different. Yes. You know, I, I can't. I can't talk about this enough because it, it just annoys me that you need to get a yearly fan, a, a yearly game out of these franchises. Yeah. So Ubisoft have done the right thing by giving Assassin's Creed a break. Activision maybe should do the same for its cash cow, Call of Duty. Yeah. Do I see it happening with Call of Duty? No. no. <laughs> Not at all. Unlikely. There'll still be people queuing up for midnight launches to get their hands on this. Yeah. On the new Call of Duty every October or early November, whenever it comes out. Totally. But there are people who like only play Call of Duty games, mm. and like Call of Duty like FIFA or Madden or something. Yeah. I mean, a friend and of uh, mine, uh, it was Double XP weekend, uh, last weekend maybe, yeah. and I was talking to him uh, at work, and he said he, he did a whole prestige that weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever prestige in a Call of Duty game. No, I haven't. No, even when I played it, like, ages ago, back in my age, I I mean, I'm not, I lucky people. <laughs> I'm not lucky people who play Call of Duty, no, you not. like what you like, yeah. but in my opinion, the franchise needs a break, and it'd be a breath of fresh air to not have it shoved down your throat every October, November. Yeah, definitely. Which is it's exactly what happens. Definitely. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, the Division open beta was this weekend. It was. Um, on... PlayStation 4, PC, and Xbox One. Xbox had the uh, early rights to it, so mm-hmm. it started a day earlier. Uh, I've played it, and I loved it, and I can't wait for the full release. Yeah, it's um, good. I didn't know what to expect going in, because I hadn't really watched that many videos for it or trailers. I saw the, the, the first trailer that came out for it. Yeah. Um, I haven't really seen much of it since then. Um, I mean, a lot of people uh, sort of said it's, well, it's going to be the new Destiny, it's going to be this year's Destiny. Um, okay, fine. Uh, and I played it, and it, it is like that. Yeah, but I much. like gearing up, I like levelling up, uh, I like finding new loot, and I like finding new gear. Mm. Um, it's, uh, addictive. it's addictive, and that, that's. Um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, games that use like addictive uh, stuff to, get, to keep you playing. Um, I definitely was a big thing. Uh, I played that. I got to the end of the game. I was playing the same missions over and over and over again. I was like, mm-hmm. and you know, I was just like, why am I doing this? It's just so <laughs> get, just to get slightly better armor, and just to get slightly higher levels. So I'm it the same as everyone else. Right? It does. It sucks you in, and you can't help it. And it's like, and you know, I was like, no, I can't do it anymore. I'm dropping it. Um, so I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping they have uh, something good, like some good end game to stuff to keep coming back to. Um, that isn't just playing the same, be playing the same missions over and over again, sure, like, yeah. like Destiny was. Well, I didn't want to play too much of the back, so I didn't want to ruin it mm. for myself. I didn't want to sort of level up because you, your progress doesn't carry over yeah, to yeah. the full game anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I didn't want to play a ton of hours just to go back and do it all again when the full game comes out. Yeah, yeah. I did the first mission uh, and the setting and the gameplay um, was enough for me to make my decision to go all in on this. I'm yeah. really excited for the full game. It was a lot of fun. I played a bit of the Dark, the dark Zone as well. It's like the uh, multiplayer uh, mm. aspect to it. Um, that was a lot of fun. Competing for uh, gear against other players. Um, it was known that at any moment like uh, anyone you see could turn rogue and just shoot you and so you've got to keep an eye on everyone, you've got to speed suspicious of everyone. Um, I really like that aspect of it. So initially is that like, is it like a team deathmatch? Um, it's not really a deathmatch, it's not really like a multiplayer mode. It's oh. like ev- everyone's kind of in this one zone. Um, uh, because loot and stuff, you've got to get the loot and get to the extraction zone. Um, then extract all your loot so it can be de- decontaminated. Right. Um, is it distributed? Should you go in as a team? Uh, you can like, go in by yourself or with other people if you want to. Okay. Um, but at any moment you can fight like anyone. You can like, see, like, see the defense versus the person run by, you can just shoot them down. Um, or something. They can shoot you as well. And it's like, if, if you turn rogue, it's like if you start killing people, you get marked on the map so everyone knows where you are. Oh, okay. And you get like a bounty put on your head. 
uh, so they put the like anti down and stuff. Did like, you experience anybody turning rogue while you were playing? Oh yes, all the time. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, like when you're you waiting around for the uh, chopper, they can like kill you and like take your, take your stuff and get keep it for themselves basically. Um, so there's a lot of people like hanging around the extraction zones, waiting for you to drop off your stuff so they can kill you and take your stuff. Um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. Cool. Um, so the division comes out March the eighth, mm-hmm. which is a Tuesday, I think. Sounds about right. Big games seem to come out on a Tuesday now. Nothing. Yeah. I mean, Friday is a game day. It is. Nothing Before comes a new out game on a Friday now. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think it's always been like that in America. So it's kind of made it so it's sort of the same sure, everywhere. Yeah. Because like otherwise, India. people are just jealous. Yeah, pretty much. So, I mean, like me myself, like, I'd, if um, a new game is coming out. Friday here, but Tuesday in America, I'll be fuming. Yeah, yeah. No, I want to play that game now. <laughs> now. They can like a head, head start as well, don't they? That's okay. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So that's probably why they do it. I'm oh. happy with that. I mean, I'm happy to get the division on Tuesday. Yeah, thanks. And milk it all the way until <laughs> I level right up, just like in Destiny. <laughs> I'm still playing Destiny. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Um, I, I probably only put it on every now and then. I'm not, like, rinsing it. I'm not <laughs> farming for materials or anything like that. Yeah, like I was. Um, <laughs> Um, I haven't even I have got the Taken because I bought um, I re-bought it on Xbox One um, the Taken King expansion you know the whole bundle that it came with that was cheaper than if you were to buy everything separately yeah Um, I don't know anything like this I bought the game separately and now you can buy like a pack with with the main game and the DLC and it's cheaper than buying the DLC separately yeah it's like oh you own the main game why do I need to buy it again (laughs) so I bought that Um, I haven't even started the Taken King I've done the dark below hmm. and most of the house of wolves um, but I do find myself just sort of um, doing patrols and things like that yeah. and I, like, I, like you I'm like what the hell am I doing <laughs> why am I doing this like, like <laughs> when they did when they started doing sparrow racing hmm. I was like right I'm going to go in I'm going to do some sparrow racing it's going to be brilliant <laughs> and I did a couple of sparrow races and I was like this is the most pointless of exercises yeah. ever Um it was fun. Yeah, I'm I mean, like, it's fun. If, if you're the kind of person who plays Destiny all the time, I'm sure it's like a fun distraction, but yeah, probably not something just to uh, go back to if you've never played it. Yeah, I haven't played it in like months. I do <laughs> like it, uh, and I do keep putting it on every now and then if I want to kill a few hours. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, it's fun enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, go back to Ubisoft. Uh, they've said that both Watch Dogs Two. And the sequel to South Park, The Stick of Truth, will come before okay. April 2017. Cool. Probably uh, something to do with the financial year. Probably. Makes um, sense. Watch Dogs 2... I, I want to be excited for it. <laughs> um, I was so excited for the first one. And it upset me that it was not what was originally advertised. Yeah. I think I actually went to Midnight Launch to get that game. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I've never been to Midnight Launch in my life. Uh, I think I, I went to my local <laughs> game enough. store and I picked it up. I was like, oh, this is going to be brilliant. <laughs> it, right. it looks from the trailer like it's going to be something special. But uh, but yeah, it kind of fell flat because it's just GTA without any of the fun stuff that makes GTA good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was fine, but it was clunky and some other stuff that mm. let it down. Uh, the, the opening sequence is really cool when you're in the you're in like a baseball stadium. Oh yeah, and so uh, you sort of power it down using your hacking abilities. Oh yeah, I can find and it trailer. looks awesome. But yeah. and you think from that po- from that point, and you're like, okay, this is what this is going to be. It's going to be epic. It's going to be amazing. And the excitement just fizzles out very quickly. Yeah, gets bogged down by what isn't a great story. Um, I mean, the game's fine. It isn't rubbish. No. But it isn't fine. Again, it's one of them things that if you can pick it up really cheap, go and get it because, yeah. you know, it will kill 15 hours sure. for you. A solid 7.5, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's 7 out of 10 at best. Yeah. Um, so I hope they learn from the mistakes and make Watch Dogs 2 very good. Yeah. Um, yeah, l- listen to your fans, Ubisoft. Yeah. They know what they want. To be fair, I think the backlash was so large <laughs> yeah I mean that game got delayed it's, like big it did, time it? yeah they played a lot and I think it was it had trouble when it was going through production and stuff like that so um, when it came out really when you look back at it it's no surprise that it isn't as good as it should have been yeah but I hope to god they learn from the mistakes and Watch Dogs 2 is what we wanted the first one to be yes I hope so um, South Park 
South Park. I love South Park. Um, I love the first one. Um, so funny. So much fun. So good. Um, that that had problems before it came out too. Yeah, true. Um, Real problems, but um, yeah, I'm excited for. I, you know, I can't even remember what it's called. Let me have a quick look. Oh, oh God, I know it. It's got a funny name. It does. Oh, the South Park, the fractured, the fractured but whole. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. Um, Butthole, not B U W T H O L E. <laughs> Butthole, B U T W H O L E. <laughs> yes, they're very clever. <laughs> um, yeah, I knew it was something cool like that. Not something funny like that. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know if it's going to be the same sort of RPG format as the Stick of Truth. I imagine it would be. I yeah. found it's with like superheroes, I want to say. Things like that in there. Yeah, yeah. The, the Cartman superhero is called uh, the Coon. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Of course, he's a raccoon. Yeah. He's not anything else. <laughs> of course. And uh, uh, I, I mean, it makes sense for them to keep the RPG element because that's what made the Stick of Truth so great. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, like, it's, it's so rare we get like turn based RPGs these days. Mm. So it's nice to have something like that. It was um, hilarious as well. It's so good. <laughs> so good. I bought it uh, backwards compatible for Xbox One. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and I've been playing it again. And it's just, it's just uh, although I've already played through it um, once already, it's it, it's so much fun that I'm not no. sort of finding it a chore to go and do all this stuff again. Absolutely. Uh, a friend of mine who isn't really a gamer, he played through it uh, two or three times maybe. Wow. <laughs> like, in quick succession too like he enjoyed it so much so uh, the South Park license obviously appeals to a lot of people oh yeah we got um, the game is so good and, yeah uh, I have high hopes for the sequel me too uh, keep doing what made the first one great and it'll be fine yeah uh, so we can expect those games both of them apparently <laughs> you know how these things change <laughs> um, but apparently at the minute they are due before April 2017 sweet I mean that is a whole year away so it that's is. a ton of time <laughs> a lot but, of time um, We'll see. I'm hopeful. Uh, last bit of gaming news. Um, to be honest, it's something that came out of the blue earlier on in the week. Um, apparently now you can go and create a Nintendo account using uh, one of your social media accounts, one of the many. Oh, yeah. I think you can either sign up with Facebook, Twitter, uh, possibly Instagram. Oh. Or you can use your Nintendo ID to log in that way. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what the point of this is yet. I don't think there is one yet, actually. Um, you can also register for, I think it's pronounced Miitomo. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Something mobile little game thing. It's um, Miitomo is a, uh, like a mobile application, mm-hmm. I imagine for both iPhone and Android. Um, really? It allows you to communicate with your friends using a Mi avatar. Yeah. Neat. I don't know if there's a point to it. <laughs> no, I think it's out in Japan already, it's quite popular over there. Of course um, it is. They love it. They love because, Nintendo. Yeah, yeah true. Um, but yeah, I don't think it will have the same success over here. I hope it does. But I don't know. I mean, I'll download it and look at it. Oh, yeah. It. Take a look. It's free. Why not? We'll try it out, see, what's, uh, see what it's all about. All about. But yeah. It doesn't sound like something that's going to go down well. It's not going to be well received here. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I'm not really sure what the point of it is. It sounds like it's going to be a social thing. Yeah. I mean, we're, obviously, the world is big on social things, but. It's just, I, I read the article about this and I was like, okay, I guess. What's, <laughs> what's the point in it? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I don't know. They're Japanese. No, like, no, I like Jap- Japan. I yeah, <laughs> like Japanese sure. stuff, like JRPGs, like anime and all that. Yeah. Dirty stuff. And, uh, but I don't know. Tell me about this. We'll doesn't... try it out. I mean, yeah. um, there's not many details about it been released. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's in uh, maybe in beta mode in Japan, maybe at the minute. Could I'm be. not sure. I'm not sure. Who knows? Either way, that's coming at some point this year, I, I believe. April, March, something like that. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Um, okay, I think that's pretty much it as, uh, as far as gaming goes. So, uh, before we go into our wrestling segment, <clears throat> because we are a wrestling and video game podcast. Indeed. Um, this past weekend, we attended our local independent wrestling organisations show, mm-hmm. Fear of Falling. Um, we had chance to sit down with the guys after their show, where they crowned their first ever champion. It was a great, great event. Really good. It was five matches, um, three singles matches, another singles match which was turned into a triple threat, uh, and then the winners of those matches advanced to um, 
the Fatal 4-Way ladder match to determine the new champion. Yes. So the Punk King, Tony Russell, he was the eventual winner. Um, we had a chance to sit down with the guys backstage after the show for a short conversation, um, which you can hear now. All right, guys, we're here with the uh, the guys from Wrestling in Hinkley. Just put on a brilliant show. Yay. Round of applause Yay. for everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much for having us, guys. I'm um, just going to ask you a few questions today. Um, it's very cool to have Wrestling in Hinkley. It's refreshing to sort of have you guys here doing this. So um, who's been wrestling the longest out of you guys? I would it's probably say Kelsey. Yeah, I'd say Kelsey. Yeah, maybe. Because you're ancient. you've been wrestling. No, I don't think it's like nine years. No. Been trained for like nine, had a show or two. I've been doing it for about five. Yeah. Okay, about five years. Right, fair enough. I've only been wrestling for two years. I started about, I was like 17 when I started. I was a late bloomer. Late bloomer. Late bloomer. How old are you? 19. 19, right, okay. Tony, what about yourself? Four, five years. Four, five years? Yeah, about four, or five years. Right, okay, how old are you? 22. 22. He was even later started. Uh, <laughs> this gentleman is dying to speak. Go on, Jason. I started when I was 14, and uh, I've been here for four years now, so uh, now I'm 18. It's pretty cool. Okay. You show sort of everywhere, or? Uh, I've worked quite a few places, like um, yeah. like some local ones by me in Birmingham. Cool. I've worked the holiday camps in Breen. Right, okay. And then we'll just go to loads of different companies. So this one's pretty good. Right. Whoever's desperate for looking. Kieran, what about yourself? I noticed uh, you, you've got t shirts here. I don't know if anyone else has t shirts, but uh, I noticed that you Major. did. So, uh, Is that much of a mark? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's not quite a few tonight. Um, I've been wrestling for five years now. Uh, I started when I was 14. Okay. Um, yeah, wrestling up and down in the UK, uh, Scotland. Been over to Malta as well. Okay. Um, London, Kent. Holiday camps, so it's the same with Charlie. I've been on um, several with Charlie before. Yeah. Just great fun with all the guys as well, wrestling sure, yeah. down in the UK. And it's, it's good, like you said, it's good that wrestling and Hinkley now have, we have consistent yeah, wrestling. I, I would say absolutely, it's just it's really, really good. So do you all wrestle together? Is this sort of something that's, you know, if some people come to these shows, it's going to be the same group of guys? Or? It's mainly me and Charlie like travel the country together, mainly. Okay. Um, I mean, every now and again we'll see fellas. Yeah, that's about it. It all, dep- it all depends on the on the booker, really. Who he wants, yeah. like who he wants on the show. But but the, these guys have been the most consistent since we started actually wrestling here. Yeah. But we've had the odd guy come in and out, like Gillian Jacobs tonight. It's the first time he's been here. But looking at some of the crowd reaction, I think he's going to be back. Yeah, well, I thought yeah. he was really good. Yeah, <laughs> first sorry, like, he's really good. Um, so with Chris Drew, is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, guy, not bad. Do you tag with him or yes? You do? Yes. Just there? Or everywhere. Yeah. They do everything together. Yeah. Okay. He, drives me, he drives what? me around. The whole train. He's my bitch. <laughs> 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 you can say bitch, it's fine. Um, I know she obviously you got <laughs> the, the, NW, the NWO t-shirts. Is that a thing you do? No, I might have NWO because I've got the sleeves on. Oh, right. Okay. And his, his idea over there, he said, let's wear these. I was like, okay, I'm going to roll this up because I'll be like, Mark, he's got the NWO t-shirt on. Right, okay. Oh, he's here. I didn't realise he was here until just now. Yeah, he's still crying because he lost the belt. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have to have it to lose it. <laughs> and I gave him a red head. <laughs> actually, no, that was Kieran. <laughs> Kieran did that, actually. You <laughs> just gave him a bigger red head. Oh, pizza. <laughs> pizza. Okay, Tony, um, you are the first wrestling in England champion. Yep. How does that feel? What's that like to be, uh, to be given that opportunity? I... Very shocked. No, I'm cool. really, really happy. Third time Hindley champion. That's oh, actually it's, it's awesome. Yeah, uh, the match was great as well. All the guys who were in the match were great. Yeah. Um, I thought the whole the whole night was good. Like every match was really solid. I mean, I think when you put all the concepts together, like you have a qualifier to get into a ladder match, yeah. and obviously the ladder match at the end, I feel like the crowd are with you the whole time yeah. and I feel like they're there for the builder so when the payoff finally happens it's that much better I think it's good as well um, especially so if people haven't been here before and seen you guys 
I just think it's sort of you get people get to know the characters and you know root for who they want to root for, whether it be the, the good guys or the bad guys. We're going to sit here and use Mark turns like face or hip. <laughs> Except for those people at the front earlier. They have all stuff here and they go, yeah, that goes go away. Seriously. Yeah. Not a fan of those guys, no? no. I'm a massive fan of those guys. They make, the, they make the shows entertaining. It gives me someone yeah, yeah, to wind exactly. up. Because if you wind them up long enough, they then realise they're pretty good and they start to cheer you. Like no, at the start no. of my match, they were booing me like how. By the end of the match, they were cheering me. So, that's, that's great. They they're a challenge. I don't like a challenge. It's like the very first time I tend to hintly, I was a bad guy. Right. Then I had some crowd cheering on me instead. <laughs> within, within the first five minutes of being in the ring, the crowd just went mad for him. Wow. So they had to switch switch it round, and the good guy had to become sort of halfway through the match become the bad guy, and he become the good guy, and he's just been there ever since. Right the on. kids, kids love him. Why the punk king? Because it's got <laughs> this, this, ain't punk. this ain't just a gimmick. Right. This is him. Wow. <laughs> this is the way he is all the time. Um, yeah, this this is away, this is him. This is for God's sake. from morning, noon, and night. Yeah, yeah. It's just an an ex, 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 expansion of him, his personality, yeah, himself. Yeah, it's just yeah. it seems to have crossed over well. <laughs> it really has crossed over well, isn't it? Yeah, it comes across yeah. really well. I think with everybody, I think sounds really, I think it's, I think it's really good. Um, we'll see well, you guys have been the door. wrestling for a fair while. Tom, Where do you see yourselves oh, going? I want to from touch it. Where would you call where do you want to be taller? Do you want to be taller? Where do you see yourself? I mean, ide ideally, there. everybody wants to be making the big money. Sure. And ideally, everybody wants to be in America and they want to be on that stage in front of that many people. Yeah. And it's just a case of working as hard as you physically can on the independent scene to get there. It's a difficult business to be in, though. Like, really difficult. Because new, news travels really quick as well. Sure. So, yeah. Have you been close to? I say close. I mean, have you had sort of any sort of shots or? Um, have, obviously, not being in the business ourselves, obviously don't know how it works too much. So I mean, it's so like, do you, have, do you go and have trials or? I wouldn't say I've got like a tryout, but I do have a tryout for Al Snow's um, wrestling school that's okay. open up, where Al Snow's going to be there, and um, yeah, he's just going to critique your work. It's eleven till six training. Okay. And um, it's just a case of going there and showing Al Snow what you've got. Well. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that I'm there. Fair enough. What about everyone else? Just want to travel to the UK more. Felt, you know, what's the best British talent? Maybe go abroad. Yeah. If I don't do it, at least go around England, facing the best, and get the imports. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Kieran? Um, I just like more travelling, like up and down the UK. I've been to more. I just want to go to more places. I'd like sure. to see the world more and just. See different fans and just spread sure. the word that I'm around. And if we get to the, the the big money, like Charlie said as well, that's fantastic. But I'm not all in it for the big money. I'm just the fans are great, so just give giving back to the fans and giving back to the business as well. So apart from Hinkley, obviously, where's your favourite place to wrestle, or where has been your favourite place to wrestle? That's I would say I would say Slam Wrestling. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I worked there recently. Um, Where's that based? Just for everyone? Uh, it's based around Cannock. Okay. What? Well, they're that's, that's, country. That's it's a, it's a touring company, so yeah. everywhere like holiday camps one minute, Prince Wales Theatre the next. Sure. And uh, yeah, that's growing and growing as well. On Tuesday and they sold what? Four hundred fifty tickets. About that. Yeah, yeah. every show I've been on for Slam. Yeah, they had, they had to boot. They had to boot. Like, like they couldn't physically get any more people in the venue. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they do draw really well, especially on the holiday camps. Yeah, as well. yeah holiday camps. Holiday, holiday camps, Prince Wales. Yeah, incredible. I see. Um, Around and stuff. So I work in Bedworth. Uh, I know, notice they have a wrestling show on there, and they sometimes have like a former WWE guy there or anything like that. Have you guys ever wrestled with anybody or been on the same show as anybody like that? Uh, I've been on the same show as Loki, Sabu. Um, Is that Triple X? Yeah, it's Triple X. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Doug Williams. Yeah, Met God, but he's and, uh, on a wrestling show. Ruben Two Guerrero. Another one. Have you spoken to him? <laughs> yeah, I spoke to all the guys backstage. They're really cool. What's yeah. Uber Guerrero like? He's good. He's just really fired up. Like, right. yeah. <laughs> Steve just Carina. loves. loves I was on a show with Steve Carino. Um, who else on it? Uh, Joel Redman. Yeah, right, right. Uh, uh, Jimmy Jacobs. That, that was quite funny. Like, he was on the show with Johnny Rose. Um, Doug Williams, like Hugh and Sin Bobby. 
Right, okay. And when Mark Haskin was, was uh, in TNA at the time. That was pretty fun. So it wouldn't do a shoot star press. <laughs> Big teaser, though, is quite good. Yeah. Mark Andrews in TNA as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Mark Andrews. So yeah. Good. That's oh, Rockstar Spud, yeah, I forgot about him. Yeah. <laughs> so Spud wrestled years ago in Coventry for the show that was uh, served. Um, but the Rico. No, it was uh, the Skydome. Skydome, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was Sky I was at that one. I think uh, uh, AJ Styles was the, in the main event of the night. Yeah. I think it was like a tag match, Terry Funk. Yeah, there's a lot of big names there. The guys, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was, that was a super show. That was uh, so Alex Shane super show, wasn't it? Yeah. There was one, I think there was, they did two, didn't they? Yeah. Because I saw Alex Shane against Raven. Yeah, that's when they went up onto the balcony. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That was cool. Um, we were ringside for that, weren't we? Um, so CM What's Punk the whole versus thing? Samoa Joe was that night as well. Yeah, that was a good match. So, I mean, it's, uh, been, I mean, seriously a long time ago now, but I mean, I think the UK independent scene is pretty hot right now. Yeah, I mean, it's really hot. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's a great time for you guys to sort of be in it, I think. Definitely. Yeah. It's just getting out there, though, isn't it? Getting, getting more and more promotions to. Yeah, to notice you. Um, if you could any, if you could wrestle anybody, current or past, who would it be? Let's go around the circle. Mike Olson. Really? Mike, why? Because yeah. he's f- amazing. Because he's great. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Excuse my language, but he is. He was amazing. More. He was amazing. I agree. No, knocking with his teeth out. No offense. <laughs> um, awesome bombs to Masato Tanaka on the outside. Love the Times. Yeah, I loved him. Okay, fair enough. Mike Olson. I love low key. Loki, yeah. yeah. Loki, okay. good guy. Tony? Not a clue. But I've been sat watching a lot of Lucha Underground, oh, okay. New Japan, Triple A, but I like that sort of high science. Yeah, fair enough. And it would be Pentagon Jr. Pentagon Jr. Okay. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. 100% Shawn Michaels. Michaels. Everything was crisp. Telling the story was amazing. It just had it all. Right. So the same, Shawn Michaels. Yeah. That's one. yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Fair enough, I'll be wrong. Um, do you guys keep up with the. What, what do you guys watch? All sorts. Yeah. WWE, really, NXT. If you, if you get tired, you just like, watch people's work, see how they work. And like, the difficulty is like, UK ones, you try and get as many as you can if you're not on them. And you've got like, the WWE, Lucha Underground, yeah. Lucha Japan, TNA, and everything. So you keep up with uh, pretty yeah. much everything, yeah? Well, I really like NXT at the moment. Like, I think the, product, the product's really good. It's really organic as well. Like he's gone back to kind of like the basics. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's nice to see wrestling it's, on a wrestling show. Yeah, yeah it's, it's so yeah. It's a ton of talk. I love it. Yeah. And, and it's tier Lucha Underground. Yeah, yeah. NXT. Them, I think them, Lucha Underground's really good. I, they, them when guys I, are just so. When I first watched Lucha Underground, I wasn't a big fan of the the movie stuff. You know, like the backstage. Yeah. So oh, they're, they're really stuff. aggressive between. Well, actually. I like it now. They're absolutely I like brilliant. Stuff. Some of them are absolutely. Yeah. Hey, it's just no one's used to it apart from WWE when like Lucha Underground. It's like. So, but then you saw the wrestling, like, that, that stuff. Oh, the yeah. wrestling's awesome. I read the other day they're going to make a movie. That'd be cool. If they do, so that's fantastic for them. Very different as well. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, so I knew, uh, from, well, this is from what I read, so this, I don't know as a fact, obviously, but uh, they were struggling to get a season four, because I know they've renewed for season three, but the idea was to sort of do a movie, so I guess that's something different. That's a good it's idea. Cool. NXT, I think, is very, very sort of in at the minute, yeah. considering it started as a, a game show. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, game show now it sells out ten thousand seats. Everybody does in the UK or America. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, it's a place to start. It's it's, it's like it's, it's like a stepping stone. Yeah. But it is everybody that's on NXT knows that the next step for them is the big time. Yeah. It's interesting to I mean, as fans, you think, oh, you, you, we don't want him to go to the the main the main roster. We want him to stay in NXT. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, but. Obviously, for them guys, they don't see it the same way. So, but know. then when you've got people like Sami Zayn going up to the main roster, yeah. you've got people like Vin, Finn Balor coming in. Yeah. So, one awesome talent moves, another awesome talent's coming in. Yeah. So it's all the time. I mean, Kevin, Kevin Owens goes, Austin Aries comes in now. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Just yeah. nice seeing like all the talents that are going to one. We talked about this in the week, and uh, we're sort of saying like now Sami's going to I think he's going to be on his way because I think he's fighting. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura at the NXT. That's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be amazing. Especially since I was saying take all in these. And I assume. Oh. <laughs> Boom! Knockout. Go oh. away. Oh. So I assume Nakamura will win and Sammy will go. Uh, yeah. And then 
Simon saying sort of off to the main roster. Yeah. Okay. I've been happy to go. Uh, we are a wrestling and video game podcast. Anyone a gamer here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What, what are you playing? Playing Bloodborne. Playing Bloodborne. Okay, it's funny, yeah? Yeah, it's kicking our ass. Too. Well, it's kicking my ass. He's I'm on like s- my second playthrough, yeah. and I'm just like, really? I'm doing it different now. I'm dying at every turn. Fair enough. Anyone else? Uh, Kyle playing Borderlands 2 on PS4. Right, okay. I like all the DLC free now, so it's like, yes. Let's take that out. Like playing Dragon Age, Mass Effect, Ultra. So I'm going to get Dying Light the following. Mm-hmm. That yeah, DLC has yeah. come out. I absolutely love Dying Light. It was <laughs> just like the little speak up, didn't they? Dying Light. <laughs> it wasn't quite. It wasn't quite like that. That was like my first attempt at a promo on a monster. Some of us have got that real was class. That was. Some of us have real jobs. We don't have time for gaming. <laughs> <laughs> we rest as we get bored. We yeah. go to the gym. Like, oh, some of us go to the gym. Some of us got yeah, right. I love the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I miss it. I don't care. What about you, Gamer? No, I don't really play much. To be fair, so. But, um, if anyone's playing it, then I'll go play it with them like it's a two-player game or something. So, yeah. but um, no, not a big gamer to be fair. I like games, but I'm not a big gamer myself. Okay. Um, wrestling games. Anyone play? Oh, massive Ish. fan of the uh, the new one. It's quite yeah, a... I like where they feed for you as well. It's like <laughs> actually working. I've got a bit of OCD with it though. Like, if something sloppy, I've got to restart the match. Right. It's like why you're doing that, you doing that, you moron. It's like sometimes I'm playing one match for like five hours just you because the other guy is so easy. sloppy. The other guy is ridiculous. It's like why you doing that? Does everyone else make themselves on the game? Oh, I'm sick. I've got my little Jesse Jones with the rock moves set and everything. Same. Same. Um, There's some sad people about it, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> but obviously the one's got a six pack and like a six foot Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massively tanned Tan. as well. Like, <laughs> like a load of tattoos. Massive yeah, boys. Well, we uh, yeah. make our guys insane groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads of tattoos. Why not? Um, right. What's your favourite wrestling game of all time? Two no Mercy on the N64. Good choice. Wasn't there a Simpsons one out the PS2? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll say that one. Simpsons Wrestling. I love playing it. Uh, I'd say the new one, genuinely, just yeah. because of the feeding. Like, I love it. Stop. Shush! Feeding's a massive thing. It's an inside turn. Inside turn. Yeah, they've got this where are you? I'm not killing the business. <laughs> it's on the game. It's on the game. Who in the job? In the job? It's on the game. I'm not posting um, There's a game just come out called Five Star Wrestling Regenesis. Uh, yeah. They've taken uh, fucking UK and the Dominion. <laughs> Yeah, they have shows. Yeah, they have shows. They have styles and Syria. Yeah. They basically get like all the top in town being low, but yeah. they have like some yeah. British in there. I think the games were literally to the, the shows were to promote the game. Yeah, I've yeah. seen the trailers. To yeah, be fair. it doesn't look too bad. It's funny. Um, it's funny it's, but... Yeah, I mean, there's obviously the parody of the guy, so it's like raging Andy Morgan. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, sort> of. <laughs> Uncle Curtis Angel. You know, that's it's amazing. Not really, they're not very, uh, they're not very similar with the, the things, but it's, it's well worth trying. Out. Harvey D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we got like your football game, like FIFA. You got probably rubbish, like your football yeah. teams, like Manchester reddish <laughs> or Manchester blue. <laughs> just no, it's not showing. Listing off football teams. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> what no, the concept is. The whole concept of like basically basketball doing their thing, going oh like Randy Ortish is like FIFA, Ortish. like um, Ortish. Yeah, Ortish. <laughs> 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 Ortish. Just end it now. It's no. done. You are. <laughs> You're killing the job, mate. Job's so don't dead. Start on that. Don't break your toe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, time's had to be about two minutes, and that was probably about two minutes ago. So, uh, um, I know we've just chatted about nothing pretty much, but it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. So, um, we'll try and get, if you are happy to, we'll try and get you back on. Uh, next time you're here, yeah, yeah, Andrew, we'll uh, revisit this and have another chat and yeah. see where you guys are at from there. If that's you're yeah, happy to do that, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. See if you're still champion. So. Doubt it. Oh, well, will be. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt it. Twitch Rude dot no chance. So now he's still in the corner crying somewhere. Hi. Guys, your pieces here, so... Well, you Chris, go? you did get beat by a double champion now. Oh, yeah, we'll see what's going on with the pumpkin stuff. Well, he's still he pumpkin did. as well, but he's also Phoenix champion, you <laughs> know. He took the Phoenix title yeah, at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, guys, thank you very much for having us. Go yeah. and enjoy your pizza. You're welcome. Um, congratulations on a great show. We'll yep. see you in April. Yay! Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed that 
part of the show. Uh, hopefully, we will have some more guests on at some point. Yes. Um, thank you so much to the guys from Wrestling and Hinkley for both uh, having us at the show and for sitting down and talking to us afterwards. Uh, yes. It was a real pleasure. Thank and, you very much. Uh, hopefully, you'll have us back uh, at one of your forthcoming shows. Indeed. Hopefully, the next one in April. Mm-hmm. Look forward to it. Yes. Okay. We are recording, and this is Sunday, the 21st of February. Confirmed. Confirmed. Right. <laughs> um, tonight is WWE Fastlane. It is. Uh, to a lot of people, this is the most obvious pay per view in a very long time. Yes. And you have every reason <laughs> to think that. Okay, so I've got the lineup in front of me. As always, we're going to make our predictions. The main event of this is Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar and Dean Ambrose in a three-way match for the number one contendership to the WWE World Heavyweight title. Winner goes on to fight Triple H at WrestleMania. Indeed. Uh, <clears throat> let's start from the bottom of the card and work our way up to that match. Okay. Um... Before we do, actually, um, the build-up to this has been lukewarm at best. Yeah. For me. Uh, I've skipped a lot of Raw. That's same. You know, building up to this because, I mean, contract signings, all the rest of it, it's... Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not when really you had much of a show on, like, Raw ever since they announced the match. It's like, okay, now what do we do? Yeah. <laughs> have, have, have Dean Ambrose... Uh, Get face to face Brock Lesnar and have him get beat up. Yeah. And then, yeah. 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 Do the same again next week. Let's again. Tease tension between Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. Yeah, yeah. Um, the most exciting thing leading up to this event for me has been the build up for AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. Yeah. We'll touch on that in a minute. So, uh, on the pre show, and I can't believe this is on the pre show and not the full show, mm-hmm. um, is the match for the US title. Indeed. Uh, Kalisto will be defending against Del Rio. In a two out of three falls match. Yeah. Until now, I didn't actually know that was a two out of three falls match. Yeah. That's a big match for the pre-show. I would have that on the card because I think I that's going to be a really good match. Definitely. Um, they've had two good matches already. Uh, yeah. Two excellent matches. Uh, two out of three falls are rare these days. I don't know why they would put that on the pre-show. Yeah. It seems daft. I mean, there um, is other stuff on on the main show that you could definitely have on the pre-show <laughs> instead. Definitely. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna. My guess, my prediction for this one is that Kalisto retains. Yeah. Because if he loses it again, then it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it makes him look uh, like a like a part time, well, not part time, but like a what do they call that? Uh, a stopgap. Yeah, stopgap. So I know that Sin Cara, I think, is ready to go again. Hmm? So I hope that they don't take the title off him and put the Lucha Dragons back together. Yeah. Uh, straight away. Yeah, that'd be a bit daft. Kalisto's got a lot. Got a lot going for him. I really like him. Yeah, it's, I think it's he got, could be a really good champion as well. Yeah, definitely. The fans love him. Um, it's great in the ring. Um, they have him like break up Sin Cara, maybe have Sin Cara turn heel or something. Um, I think that would be more interesting than having him tag every week with the championship. It doesn't make sure. sense. That that could be a good feud as well. Yeah, Kalisto versus Sin Cara. Definitely, yeah. Mm. Um, so you're going for Kalisto as well? Yeah, I think so. It makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's a cutting edge peep show segment. Nice. Which is next on the list that I've got in front of me. So Edge and Christian with special guests, The New Day. Mm. That, that'll be funny, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the reason Edge and Christian are on this pay-per-view is because their show is debuting on the WWE Network straight after. Uh, yeah, definitely. Which looks very funny as well. It does. <laughs> I hope all the best bits aren't in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll be watching it. Um, there's a rumor going around that Enzo and Cass will be... Um, uh, in this, in some form, and then whether they'll be introduced by Edge and Christian as New Day's opponent or something, you will see a match, maybe at this pay per view or WrestleMania. Um, that'll be cool. That'll be awesome. It'll be so cool, actually. It's found the end of Gas have been spotted like backstage, Raw, and all that. Mm. So, I'd love, to, I'd love to see him on the main roster. Me too. Super entertaining. Um, the entrance of that entrance of theirs yeah. uh, could be so over. Definitely, yeah. I mean, so over in NXT anyway, but <laughs> um, it could be. It, I, I, I've liked Enzo and Cass for a long time. Mm. Um, I'd love to see them sort of get on the main roster and do that. Definitely. Same here. Um, apart from that, I mean, I'm sure that second will be fine. Uh, it'd be cool if Enzo and Cass are there. Yeah. Um, I mean, someone has to beat New Day for the championship. Might as well be 
and they're a gas. Yes. Because people like to like them. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think they're going to be the ones to be um, the guys, the NXT Tag Team Champions, what they're called. Uh, Dawson. Dawson Dawson. Dash and Dawson. Dash and Dawson. <laughs> Dash and Dawson. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it'd be Enzo and Cass to be them. No, probably not. I, I think they'll fight. Uh, yeah. They'll probably the NXT TakeOver, and that'll be maybe their last match there. Probably. You know, so that's just, just an uneducated guess. <laughs> right, next on my list, this is the match that should be on the pre-show. Yes, definitely. Um, only <laughs> because it's a nothing match. I have nothing with the nothing against um, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch, mm. but that match against Tamina and Naomi is pointless. Yeah, it's a bit thrown together, um, especially when they had like. Um, Sasha Banks like T's going for the title the last baby view. And it's like, okay, now you're in the tag match. Enjoy. Yeah. And it's like why? With <laughs> Becky who you've been beating up all this time. Yeah, yeah, it makes no sense. So now you're gonna join up with Becky and you're gonna beat the two up. Yeah, it's I suppose it's a way to break up team bad. because um, that needs to be broken up, let's yeah, face it. Sucks. <laughs> um, but they could have just done it on war or something. They didn't, didn't need to yeah. put this on pay per view. Uh, they definitely didn't, didn't need to put it on the show. They yeah. could just put it on the pre show. Yeah. And bumped Dario versus Kalisto, which means a lot more because for, it's for a title, so the prestige is already there. Yep. Um, yeah, that's. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, US title already, already looks um, like weak compared to other titles. Yeah. But like, putting it on pre show just doesn't help. No, it doesn't. You want to make it look like it's worth fighting for. Yeah, that's it. Um, the last time, I mean, don't, this isn't a knock against Kalisto, nor is it a knock against Del Rio, but the last time the US title was strong is when Cena had it. That's true. And he made it look strong every week. Yep, definitely. The, the, I, love the, I used to love the open challenge. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a highlight of here. Yeah, pretty For much. Sure. And he was also the best match. I mean, everyone mm-hmm. has a go at Cena, but he can wrestle. week after week, he was putting on the best match on the world. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's another topic for another time. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I think Sasha and Becky win. Yep. You see, I don't see Tamina and the uh, uh, winning. I don't, I don't, no, I don't see them winning either. Which takes us to the next match. Yep. Brie Bella versus Brie Charlotte. Bella. Yes. Um, I get why they give Brie the title shot because you know Danny Bryan and they, there's rumors going around that Brie's not going to be around yeah. anymore after this. I think they want to start a family. I mean, I mean, yeah. if you watch Total Divas like I do, <laughs> yeah, um, it's no secret that Brie Bella and Daniel Bryan want to have children or whatever mm-hmm. and if that's what they want to do more power to them that's yeah fair enough. Um, Brie without Nikki you know mm, yeah. it's, it's um, Nikki isn't coming back anytime soon by no. the looks of it because she's just had surgery or whatever um, there's been a lot of people say that or predict that Brie Bella's actually going to win this really hmm I disagree. I think um, <laughs> oh, I just, I think that, that shouldn't happen at all. <laughs> no, no. I think I think Charlotte will change in this. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised we're going to see pretty much agree after this. And, no, uh, no, this could be it. Yeah, unless she wins it and then drops it again, it gives it gives her that moment of being the Divas Champion. Yeah, true. And then she, I mean, drops it to Charlotte before because there's a long time mm. between now and WrestleMania. That's true. Yeah, yeah, it could happen. But so, I mean, that could happen. Then set up the triple threat between Sasha. And Becky, yeah, and Charlotte. Um, okay. I think Charlotte will win, mm-hmm. but if, I wouldn't be surprised if Brie does win. Okay, what do you think? I think Charlotte's gonna win. Um, that's, that's it, yeah, I, win. I, I can't see Brie winning. Okay, yeah, fair enough. It's my opinion. <laughs> um, this next match I don't like. Already, oh. I, I already don't like it. Yeah, um, I, don't like. <laughs> I don't like the name this team has been given either. <laughs> what is it? So we've got the Wyatts, uh-huh. Eric Rowan, Luke Harper, and Braun Strowman with Bray Wyatt because you know he just doesn't wrestle. <laughs> versus the Titans. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So bad. Uh, Ryback in his gold big attire. <laughs> Kane and Big Show. Yay! I have <laughs> this- so li- if Bray Wyatt isn't. In fact, if Bray isn't going to be in that match mm. maybe that could be on the free show yeah it's our thoughts why not just put down the free show um, who cares who wins that match yeah I mean someone's going to be the Wyatts because why would why would the other guy win um, it's obviously obviously they want to push like Braun Strowman as being the new big tough guy for whatever reason um, oh. yeah I don't, just want to make a big guy push a big guy push, push the Luke Harper it's really good yeah Luke Harper's <laughs> the, easily the best 
uh, of those three. Yeah. I mean, Rowan, Rowan's the one who just takes the fall every week. Now. Yeah, pretty much. He does a spinning kick every now and again. And <laughs> gets... and should the Titans win this match? Yeah. The Titans are sucks. <laughs> they won't win it. No. There's no way. Um, I mean, I, I imagine Braun Strowman will get the pinfall with this one. Probably. Uh, I know they're trying to make him look strong because the, they were flirting with the idea of him versus the Undertaker <laughs> at WrestleMania. Yeah, former Rosebud, Braun Strowman. Yeah. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, yeah I did see <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, because yeah, there was loads of them in that one picture, wasn't there? Like Becky was there. And oh, yeah. I think Dana Brooke may have been there. Possibly. One of the guys from the Vaude Villains. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amazing what you've got to do before you get on the main roster. Yeah. Um, before you even get on TV. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the Wyatts win. Yeah, definitely. Um, what I did read, actually, going back to the Braun Strowman and Undertaker thing, was that Undertaker wasn't keen. No, I'm surprised. I think the only person that was keen on that match was Vince McMahon. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, big. That, that's from what I've read. Lots um, of big guys. So I think they were sort of trying to, you know, dissuade Vince McMahon from wanting that match. Yeah. He's old. <laughs> yeah, he's old. He loves his big guys, but yeah. that would be an awful match. That would be so bad. It'd be like when you face the giant Gonzalez way back. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like that. It would be like that. Because really Braun Strowman it can't move very well. He can't. And Undertaker is old. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Undertaker can still go. I mean, he can still play in a decent match. But, oh, yeah. But, um, no, that would be rubbish. Yeah. So, um, I hope they... To be honest, I do hope they bring Cena back and go with Undertaker. That'd be good if he can recover us now. I'm going to touch on Cena after this, actually. Because um, he's been acting strange recently. But, yeah. There was a rumour going on, actually. Randy Triple H or someone said that uh, Undertaker's opponent isn't currently on contract with WWE. Teasing someone like from outside coming in, taking them on. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I don't know if that's true or not, but something I heard on the Twitters. Mm. Uh, Intercontinental title match. Mm. This was made well this week because uh, Kevin Owens won the title on Raw from oh, yeah. Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Which is something that we didn't see coming. I mean, if you listen to episode four, um, I think it was episode four, we said that we didn't think Dean Ambrose would drop that title. I think so, yeah. Um, but it would make sense for him to do so. Yeah. It has happened, and he's lost it to Kevin Owens, which is the right person to lose it against. Yep, definitely. Hopefully, after this match, um, this feud will be put to bed. Yeah. So I am sick to death of seeing this match. Yeah. Um, uh, Kevin Owens versus Dolph Ziggler is the match. Yeah. Um, I, I like both guys. Uh, they both can go. Um, Ziggler, we're getting kind of tied up now, I think. Because mm-hmm. it's like... We see him all the time when he never wins anything. No, yeah. <laughs> last last push he had was when he had took on the, like, the authority at Survivor Series that time, and looked really good, looked really strong, looked like he was going to get a push, but then just went absolutely nowhere yeah. and lost everything. It seems <laughs> like Kevin then. Owens versus Dolph Ziggler was open raw for like <laughs> this whole month, yeah, like from January onwards. Yeah, it's been like the first match. I mean, it might be a good match. It was just, I don't know. we've seen it before. Yeah. Um, Owens isn't going to lose the title now. No. Nope. So, not. Kevin Owens wins? Definitely. Yep. I'd say so. Um, okay, well, that's, that's <laughs> unanimous. So Kevin unanimous. Owens wins, that's it. Yeah, no way. Dolph Ziggler goes and does something else. <laughs> yeah. Gives in a feud against, I don't know. Someone um, else. Yeah. Just someone else. <laughs> Anyone but Owens. I don't want to see him in the title picture. Adam Rose. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Go, go and feud with the social outcast. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Um, the next match I'm excited about. Mm-hmm. On the list that I've got in front of me, which has been provided by PW Torch. Mm-hmm. Um, AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho 3. Yeah. AJ won the first match on Raw a couple of weeks back. Yep. Yeah. Jericho then beat him on SmackDown a week or so later. Mm-hmm. Um, and they've been sort of going back and forth. Um, AJ's had some great, a couple of great matches with the Miz of all people, actually. Yeah, yeah, really good. It's been really good. Jericho's been watching from ringside and, you know, saying his piece after the matches and stuff. Yeah. Um, they were teasing that, I mean, Jericho was like, oh, no, I'm not going to have this match, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it was always going to happen. They well, were never going to let that series <laughs> go at one all. No way. I like, I like how Jericho's like teasing a heel turn as well. Yeah. Um, and then whether, whether we will turn a heel or not on Fast Lane. Um, we'll see. I think he's I, the heel going into this. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but I think I think he'll come out as like a bad guy. Hope so. Think he wins? No, I think AJ wins. He, I think it's because he's a new guy and he needs him, like a push to say that he what he can do. And so he's like the real deal. I think AJ wins this one. I think AJ wins. Um, what would you like to see AJ Styles do after this? Um, 
Maybe take on Kevin Owens for the Intercontinental. Title. See, that's exactly what I want. Yeah. I mean, I thought when Owens <laughs> threw him out of the Royal Rumble that we were going to get that pretty much straight away. Yeah. Um, obviously not the case. They've done. I mean, they've done a really good job with this actually. This feud, this uh, AJ Jericho feud. Oh yeah. Jericho right. said his piece uh, on Raw. AJ uh, came back and did a good promo mm -hmm. on Jericho. So I'm really. I mean, that match that could be match of the night. Definitely. Yeah. I think Owen sure. Ziggler will be good. Mm. Um, but I think AJ Styles versus Jericho could be very, very good. Yeah, absolutely. With the AJ Styles matches that they've been having so far, like he's been doing moves and he's been chucking new bits and you know into the matches. You just feel like he's saving like the good, the the, the real awesome stuff. Yeah, definitely for something special. Yeah, uh, I think that match is going to be really good. Yeah, me too. I think AJ comes out of it smelling the roses. <laughs> Handshake, maybe. Mm. It will be um, a handshake. Then, Jer then Jericho turns. Yeah. Fully. That, that'd be good. That makes sense. We'll see. But that match is going to be excellent. That could be match of the night. Definitely. Definitely. So on to our main event. Reigns, Lesnar, and Ambrose. Winner goes to fight Triple H at WrestleMania 32. Mm -hmm. There's only one winner here, right? Yeah. It's I, mean, I must have called <laughs> this months ago. I said on... Um, Maybe even the first podcast that we did. Mm. That Triple H would win the world title at the Royal Rumble. Or he'd win the world title before. I think when they announced the Royal Rumble was going to be for the title, that's when I thought Triple H was going to win. Yeah. And I think I, I said it. I said Triple H will win the title. It will set up Reigns versus Triple H at WrestleMania. My feelings haven't changed. I still think that's going to happen. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I'd hope that... Like maybe they change it because they've heard it on like the next it and then people feel like they're gonna know what's gonna happen. So they might just change it last minute to be like, aha, we got you, we changed it. It's not what you thought. Um <laughs> But whether they will or not, I don't know. I, <laughs> no, I don't think they will. Maybe, maybe they'll twist and like they'll do what they did on like NXT last week and have like Reigns and Ambrose pin Brock or something. Mm. And like they're like, no, I'm the winner, no, I'm the winner. And then have them two fight. Who knows? How do you see this going? Because I, I think cause obviously what happens here is the setups for WrestleMania. Yeah, definitely. So the it's been mentioned that it could be Bray versus Brock at WrestleMania. That'd be good. So do the Wyatts screw Brock out of this? Uh, it makes sense. Um, they have teased it in the past on War. I'm like, why it's going out to? Uh, Rock. I mean, they, they ganged up and threw him out of the Royal Rumble. Yep, yeah, that's true, that happened well. Um, so yeah, I mean, after they fought, fought the Titans, <laughs> once I fought, once they like, fought and beat them, so, oh, the only person we've got left to beat, we can take on anyone, let's take on Brock Lesnar, he's the last Titan standing or something like that. Um, Good shout. Could be, that. you know, that could happen. Mm. I, I, I think that uh, the Bray Wyatt will be involved in that match somehow. Yeah. And I, I just think it'll be the downfall of Brock and they'll that'll go forward for Bray versus Brock at WrestleMania. Yeah, that'd be cool. Which I'm fine with, I think that'd be good. Yeah, that'd be a good match. Um buddy, keep getting people's names. Um Bray Wyatt, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bray Wyatt is a really good wrestler. And I think him against Brock would be a really, really good match. Doesn't wrestle um, enough. Doesn't wrestle enough, no. He deserves to be on, on more. Yeah. Um Reigns pins Ambrose maybe? Yeah, that yeah could be. Maybe yeah. the Wyatts take away Brock like they did Undertaker. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That'd and be then cool. it leaves Reigns versus Ambrose. Mm. That sets up like potential feud between Reigns and Ambrose. Yeah, maybe Am to WrestleMania. Yeah, maybe Ambrose turns heel or something. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, that'd be good. I think I, I think I might have heard recently that it might may have even been you that told me, but <laughs> um, that they were toying with the idea of turning Ambrose heel. Oh yeah, I've heard that as well somewhere. That could happen. Mm -hmm. well, I prefer like Reigns to Tony because no one, yeah, no one expects it but we'll see and people actually like Ambrose as well and like, yeah. <laughs> and like Reigns yeah, Reigns is the heel yeah, like, yeah. he we're, is we're, the heel going into this match whether they want him to be or not he is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is um, yeah okay so Reigns wins yeah without question yeah I think so Reigns goes on and then beats Triple H at Wrestlemania yeah unless yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to change it so badly but they won't no. So, I mean, that's what I think, that, that's what we think is going to happen at Fastlane. Yeah. Um, before we go, I'm just going to touch on Cena real quick. Okay. Um, 
He's been posting some very weird things on Instagram recently. Mm. Um, he posted a picture of the Guy Fawkes from FIFA Vendetta. Okay. Uh, then he posted CM Punk's Twitter profile picture. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is a picture of the guy from Slapshot, if yeah. anyone's ever seen it. People and then he posted a picture of The Undertaker. Mm. And he also posted a, a, a very cryptic tweet saying, um, you got to take something about taking risks and you got to lace up and all this sort of stuff. And he said, big couple of weeks. Huh. Um, maybe be? the day after Fastlane, <laughs> Undertaker comes out to do his usual. Uh, I'm back for WrestleMania, sort of thing. Yeah. Although we have seen him quite a lot recently, which is strange. Um, and then maybe Cena comes out and they, they set that up for WrestleMania. That'd be good. Um, that is the best possible outcome for both of those guys in the minute. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I hope Cena can get well in time. Maybe you know, he's like some sort of freak who can. <laughs> yeah. Cena's a machine. I mean. Like, he's in with powers, like Wolverine powers. <laughs> Dude's like Wolverine. Yes, it's crazy. Like it's the way he heals from things. Yeah. Like it's just incredible. It's like when he came back at the Royal Rumble that time. And yeah. He hadn't been out very long, and no one expected it. Yeah, that's not like watching actually ran ran bad that time. Yeah. Um, I seen him come back. Like, even I was surprised because like no one knew that Cena was going to come back. No, that was awesome. I mean, for a change, things were kept a secret. Yeah. We said that more these days. So, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm happy for Undertaker versus Cena. Yeah, I'd love to see that. The only thing that I'd be, is, I'm unsure about is who would actually win. Um, yeah, that's a good one, actually. Because you know, it's Undertaker's most likely Undertaker's last ever match. I think oh, in Dallas, that makes sense. Yeah. Right off into the sunset in Texas. Exactly. Yeah, I think they will do it. Um, but it is, an, it is an interesting scenario. I mean, I'm not sure who would come out winning. Mm. Personally, I think... Um, in fact, I don't know what I think. I mean, uh, there's you know there's uh, a case for Cena to win. There's also a case for them to take to win. So yeah, um, I don't know. But that's another conversation for another time because <laughs> we may just be sort of just get, well, we are guessing at this point. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, one more thing before we go. Um, Do you see the WWE announced or uh, well, Triple H announced um, that Cruiserweight? series oh uh, yeah it's to the WWE Network yeah that could be good um, so it's a 32 man tournament I think wow to be filmed over 10 episodes Excellent. and the weight limit is 205 pounds yeah it'll be sort of luchadors and cruiserweights cruiserweights with the uh, mm. um, the WWE term that'd be cool and that's the term they're still going with so. yeah I oh, know cruiserweights was WCW light heavyweights was WWE WWE they sort of had cruiserweight title at the title that WWE didn't they uh, I think when WCW and WWE merged, oh yeah, that could be that's nice. when they brought the cruiserweight title. Uh, the Hurricane had it for ages. Oh uh, yeah, I think stuff like that. But that'll be really cool. That would be cool. I'd see that. I'd Isn't see him bring back the title as well. Yeah, me too. If, if it's just like network exclusive, at least do something with it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Absolutely. Um, okay, that's going to be it for episode five. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've talked for much longer than I thought we might do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed our chat with the guys from Wrestling and Hinkley. Yep. Yep. Hopefully there'll be more guests that we can announce very soon. Yeah. Thanks again to everyone at Wrestling Inkly. Yes. You guys are awesome. Very awesome. Thank you very much for having us. Uh, thank you for listening. Go follow us on Twitter at SunnyFinPC. We are now on Instagram mm-hmm. uh, at Sunny and Finn Show. Uh, we are on Facebook and we're going to start using it more. So look out for that as well. Um, go subscribe to our videos on YouTube. We are making them more frequently. Mm-hmm. Tons of Let's Plays. Uh, tons of live shows um, yeah loads of content yep uh, I'm now going to go and beat Finn on WWE 2K16 for the Sunny and Finn Championship you wish take it easy guys thank you very much for listening goodbye goodbye <laughs>